need permission here uh, before you drill for water? Uh, we have uh, contractors or companies registered mm -hmm. who have the license to do a borehole. So if you consult any of those people, we done with that needed to seek permission from anyone since it's on your land. Yes, but the person must be a lancet, given a, a permission from the, uh, the Register General that yeah. he can do boho. He has his machines. He charge you, he does it for you. Yes. Thank you. But don't forget that we are, we are closest to sea. We are very close to the, the, the sea, shore. So uh, the water that you get may not be well. Even sea water, sometimes you turn it to be a drink of water. So <laughs> uh, you, you can decide to even do so. But it will be salty, uh, hard water. Uh, but uh, there are other ways. Technology has made this simple for us. I think Accra, they have done one. Yeah. Uh, changing the yeah. uh, seawater sea water into, into drinking, drinking water. water. Yes. <laughs> so if you have a ball where you want to do so, yeah. I think it can be done. But we have pipe bond water. <coughs> pipe bond, the treated one <coughs> in the community. Okay. Yes. Which can also be connected <coughs> by applying to the Ghana Water and Sewage, and they will also do that for you. Yeah. Any, any more questions? Yeah, no, what, what Nana is saying is that there is a, a pipe flowing water. Yeah. But there is a government organization who is in charge of that. So if I want to connect it to my house, I just go to them, hey, I need water in my house. Then they will tell you, okay, fill this form, do this, do that, and we'll come and connect it to your house for you. And then, and then exactly, you pay, it goes for a fee. Yes, please. Do you have an idea of how much that costs? No. It depends on the, I think, where your house is, where their main pipeline is, and all that. What goes into it? Yeah. Because if their main line is just here, and my house is here, it will, I'll pay less. Yeah. If my, your house is far away, you yeah. pay more than me. Yeah. That's the yeah. Way. So it depends on where their lines are. That is why when you want to build your house, the surveyor comes in. Be the surveyor and then uh, knows where some of the pipelines are, where electricity is supposed to be, and all that. So they earmark all these areas so that when you are putting up your house, your house will not be at a place where it's supposed to be water or electricity. Yes. That's why surveyors are very, very important when you want to put up your house. Yes, sir. Uh, as far as, excuse me, as far as waste removal, um, we have the option of like biodigester as yeah. opposed to septic, or is there any regulations on that? Oh, uh, it's a choice. Choice. Yeah. Yes, it's a choice. So, but and, uh, this this the community want to say biofuel, Bio biofuel, yes. biofuel, yes. biofuel where. I can even use for agriculture yes. afterwards. Yeah, that kind of bad. That safety tank they do for for the cars to come and remove and that kind of thing. Well, it's your choice. <laughs> uh -huh. And these days, it's, sometimes it's difficult to get a car from the disassembly to come and do that work for you. So why not resorting to the modern ones, the biofuel? Yes, and some people also want to have gas out of out of it, which is a biogas. Uh, they also have a way of doing that one. So that one is a choice. Yes, madam. Come again. Your, your, um, water connected to the time that they oh, okay. The timeline uh, between you getting uh, uh, applying for the water and getting the water all depends on you. Uh, 
the, 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 because if I need uh, boho or I need water today, and I go the, to them today, and then they will come and do it for me. If someone is not ready to do that, and it takes him whatever, so far as you are there and you have applied for it, they will just come and do it for you. There is no any timeline. And also they will need your site plan. Yeah. yeah they will you need your site, your site plan. plan. You attach your site plan. Yeah. So they will know where. There are some documents that they are going to require from you. You have the documents there already. So it's a matter of submitting, filling the form, and they will come and do it for you. Yes, please. Um, is the land owned by us, or is it just, for, for what I understand, those of us that are from the diaspora or foreigners don't really own land, or there's a time limit or something of like 50 years that is really leased or something? Yes, I think that? I have already said that you are now my sister. So you're changing that. You are now my sister. You see, but uh, the law is there in our constitution. Okay. That uh, foreigner, you will not be given more than 50 years. Okay. Yes, okay. now you are diaspora, you are African, you are Ghanaian. Only that you are there as a result of uh, some activity that went on. Was that your fault? So I will look at that. Uh, and then I, I, the explanation to the diaspora, to my understanding, can make me give you the 199. Uh, yes, as stated as in the uh, yes, as a Ghanaian. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. He is the overlord of the yeah. land, so whatever he says is fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, stool, stool, land are not meant for giving out as a gift. Yeah. But I have given 20 acre land <coughs> as a gift oh, to the up for the orphanage. So. Where is the law? The law is made for men, but men were not created for the law. So as a chief, I think if I'm giving such a land for, as a gift, then I must follow the law, which makes it a gift. And I have done so. You understand? So if you are diaspora, you are coming for land to stay, why not? You know, Showing certain people, some people from diaspora. Mm. So if I'm still treating you as 50 years, then it means I'm not welcoming you. That's yes, mm. right. You understand? So yes, the, right. the understanding, the meaning of what I'm doing, well, then let you know that, yeah, you are really my brother or sister. Yes. So that one, I will make sure that is done. Thank so you. that we don't see you as a foreigner. foreigner. Mm. That's what I was questioning. Yes. Thank you. I have never heard this in anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is the first time. That I, <laughs> I think we have a, uh, our council in, and we have yes. to welcome him. So yeah. he, if, if he want to talk, he can talk. Oh. He's waiting for us to welcome him before he can talk. Oh, part of us. Yes. So do so. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. Uh, you see, Sankofa. Sankofa me.